All right, what's happening, Hot Squad? Torso back YouTube, and today is not time for Hot Club News. So, if you don't know, if you've seen the Xbox, well, if you've seen the Xbox Bethesda showcase, Hideo Kojima, the legend himself, is making a new exclusive for Xbox Game Studios, and PlayStation fanboys are not amused, not pleased, and I mean pissed, definitely freaking pissed. <laughs> This is hilarious stuff, man. I mean, cry me a freaking river. Are y'all serious right now? Let the man do his thing. My God. It's like, y'all are not even happy for anything. Seriously. Fanboy is not happy for anything. Because, look, I own the Xbox Series S. I own the PS4. And I own the Switch. I mean, I... Just why? Why is this even a thing, y'all? Come on. Y'all need to get a freaking grip and just let the man do his thing. So, Hot Squad, we're going to see what the hell is going on. Why is... PlayStation fanboys are so pissed off about X, um, Hideo Kojima making an Xbox um, exclusive game in the future. By the way, he's gonna say in the future, which I'm myself, I'm very curious what the um, what the game's gonna be out. So, Hot Squad, let's just write to this this dumb, this dumb baffling news, <laughs> Hawk Alert news. Let's jump right to it. Let's do this. So yeah, Hot Squad, like you see here, I'm on the IGN page um, about the whole situation that, you know, Kojima fans are mad as hell about it, um, about the whole situation with him making the Xbox exclusive, so we're going to dive deep to this, so, yeah, we're going to dive deep to this, so, um, Kojima Productions makes clear it still has a very good partnership with PlayStation at the Xbox announcement, PlayStation fans have reacted badly to the announcement of an Xbox exclusive, Kojima Productions have made clear it still it still has a good relationship with PlayStation despite the announcement announcing an Xbox exclusive game. Hideo Kojima revealed his studio will be making a, a completely new game quote quote a completely new game that has no one that no one has ever experienced or seen before unquote at the Xbox Bethesda Games um, Showcase on June 12th causing some question for the studio ties to PlayStation. Let's see here's the um Twitter right here the link right here. Um, at the announcement of the of our partnership with Microsoft using the cloud technology, many people have asked us about collaboration with SIE Sony Interactive Entertainment. Please be aware, I mean assured, that we continue to have a very good partnership with PlayStation as well. I mean yes, it's it's right there. I mean like, but yeah, it's, I don't know. Oh God. Um, the developer has previously been synonymous with Sony's side due to his only franchise, Death Stranding, being a PlayStation exclusive. Even featuring on the PlayStation Studios website, Kojima himself has long been associated with PlayStation well before the creation the, studio, the studio's own well creation of his own studio. Excuse me. The Xbox announcement had led to an outcry among some fans of Kojima who felt the Legend of Kojima should move away from his ties to PlayStation. I mean, why why y'all think you're gonna do that? Um, some have even set up petitions, which I have by the way have the um the link to the petition, for example. <laughs> to um, ask Kojima Productions not to work on the Xbox game. Oh God! But Kojima Productions is an independent studio, and as it said in another tweet, will explore various possibilities with games, movies, and music through platforms that will involve with time and technology. Kojima himself said on the announcement he's incorporating cutting edge technology, particularly cloud, cloud streaming, and a change from the industry's trend into its new project. While the project is still currently in early stages, it is something that the famed, the famed developer, mostly famed for creating a regular Star franchise, of course, has always been wanted, has always wanted to make. I've waited a very long time for the day I could finally start to create it, he said. That's not oh, that's not to say that Stranding is finished, of course. It's just recently, uh, yeah, it's just recently its lead actor, The Walking Dead's Norman Reedus, leaked that a sequel to the 2019 self action is in development in our six out of 10 review the first game. IGN said Death Strand delivers a fascinating world of supernatural sci-fi but its gameplay struggles to sport its weight. I thought they were going to give it a 7 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, we've we seen a lot of 7 out of 10s. IGN just been getting a lot of 7 out of 10s or 8 out of 10 whatever. <laughs> um, another supposed Kojima game a horror title called Overdose have appeared to have leaked earlier this week but has yet to officially appear publicly so I already have the petition already here in Tech Radar so yep yeah, um Okay, ba ba ba. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Hold on. However, it seems not a, in, not a non insignificant portion of Houston fans weren't so thrilled with the announcement. A viral tweet from John Cartwright spotlit a change.org petition to cancel Kojima exclusive game in the time, and at the time, 
a writing has amassed 1500 yeah 1500 signatures and counting since its creation oh my god and the fact I think this petition is old as I researched it it is old I did not know this was actually old I thought it was like really new <laughs> some new well um, yep here we go here's this bull crap this stupidity of a freaking petition like come on come on man whoever made this why would you even bother doing this why just touch grass move on let the man do his stand you dumb idiot I mean are you do are you making the game no you're not making the game so why bother doing petition this crap and why you a-holes who's following him you know sign this petition like come on stop being such babies and let the man do his thing I mean, oh my god um this the petition the description of the petition states that Kojima is betraying his, fan, his loyal fans adding that he's blinded by greed okay yeah okay that's just going way too far way too far saying that you freaking moron <laughs> um the test the text does however in the point that we can actually emphasize with not everyone has good enough internet to stream games not everyone has enough money to buy a new console or pc yeah build a new pc i mean well i mean it's kind of true unless you have unless you have a great job and you know you know like i said good enough internet to stream games i mean that's all i, I can ever say okay but you know, you got to work for it to get your get it buy a new console. I mean, come on, it's simple. It's freaking simple. Save money, save money. Like go to, go get a nice job, go to college, whatever. I mean, just save money. I mean, it's not hard. It's not hard. I mean, trust me. You just got we got to work for it. Okay, you just got to work for it. Um, but does the petition have the point? Well, it's certainly true that internet fast speeds and owning multiple consoles are luxuries. Not everyone can afford. Okay. We can't help the feel that this petition was a little reachinary. Yeah, no kidding. We know next to nothing about Kojima's next project besides the fact currently outlined. Those being the parts of Xbox Game Studios and the utilization of cloud-based technologies to deliver a never-before-seen concept. The concept does at least sound a bare fit a bit, yeah, a, a fair bit more ambiguous than Death Stranding. Simple yet robust online features that allow players to build structures and stations to order. The eight other players. The console is a your game is a console exclusive on PS5 and PS4, and also available to play on PC. Just as we imagine, Kojima's new project will be too. We won't deny that a change of the guard from PlayStation to Xbox will definitely leave some players by the wayside, though. But we imagine the most likely scenario here that Xbox consoles, Microsoft power, power Microsoft's powerful Azure servers, Azure ser um, servers, will ultimately be better suited into the biggest project Kojima Productions has been currently working on. In the wake of the announcement, Kojima Productions official Twitter tweet, of course, yes, says has a very good partnership with PlayStation, of course, for even if Kojima's next project don't turn out to be an Xbox exclusive, then it likely doesn't spell to end its team presence with PlayStation platforms. Duh, obviously. Okay, that's probably much the end. So, yep, yeah, there you have it, Hot Squad. Um, that's the reason why, you know, Kojima fans slash PlayStation fanboys are in the pains to twist, you know, with the whole freaking um him making the Xbox exclusive. So, <laughs> It's just like, come on, dude. Don't you got something better to do? I know y'all got something better to do than just make a, a freaking petition of this crap. I mean, come on. Let the man do his thing and just move on. Okay? Jesus. So there you have Hot Squad. That was my Hawk Alert news coverage of Kojima slash PlayStation fanboys getting so pissed off about him making a new uh, Xbox exclusive only. So, yeah, that's... That's just, I, I don't know, man. It's 2022, y'all. Y'all need to get a freaking grip. It's 2022. This it's, this crap is getting so old right now. So freaking old. Uh, I mean, come on, man. Y'all need to grow up. Seriously. It is sickening. It is disgusting. It is freaking stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid for y'all to do get so pissed off about the man making the, um making a hissy fit about him making a new uh, Xbox, Xbox um, exclusive. I mean, come on. Let the man do his thing. He's a legendary. He is a legend. He's been doing this for a very, very long time, okay? Chill out. Just chill out for people who, you know, get uh, so pissed off about the whole news about it. Just chill out. Touch grass. Leave your freaking computer alone. Take a freaking week off. God knows. Eat some ice cream. What the hell ever just to chillax. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's just like, why? Why so, why so pissed off about this? Why? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, I'm just like, okay, like, ugh. 
I don't know. But anyways, um, I'm glad I did talk about my opinion about this. Um, it's a load of bull crap. I say it's a load of bull crap. I say let the man do his thing and just forget about it, okay? Just forget about it. Let the man do his thing. Who knows? I mean, come on. It's not hard to forget about it. You know, it's not hard to forget about, you know, it being an um, Xbox game exclusive. Why so? Why get so mad about it? Why get so amped up about it? So, anyways, Hot Squad, that is my um, conclusion to my Hawk Alert news coverage of Kojima slash PlayStation fans, you know, um, aren't happy about Kojima making that Xbox game exclusive. So, if you enjoyed this news coverage, please hit that like button, subscribe, share your thoughts. Um... I know you pretty much agree with me saying this is really just really just stupid stupidity right here. Like why why bother doing this? Why why man babies man babies are so salty about this? Why? Just tell me. <laughs> just tell me. So anyways, Hot Squad, this is Hot Sound for today. I know I haven't you know got a chance to do reactions um this week um but I you know I'm so pretty much busy with homework and stuff. So I will hopefully do reactions this week. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Saturday. So Hot Squad. This is all sound off for today, and safe out this guy, and I will see y'all later. Goodbye, and hope you have a great, great week. Peace out.